Hello everyone and welcome back to another Shameless Dive. Today we have, of course, of course, of course it has to be this, Ara History Untold. I love 4X games. You know I love 4X games. I, I just mm, love me a good 4X game. And this is one that has been exciting me ever since I heard about it. I think sometime last year. Um, and I was sort of like, ooh, because it felt to me a little, little bit Solaris combined with Civ. Now I say that because Civ is obviously a 4X. It's relatively basic, it's relatively simple. Solaris has a lot more going on. It's a lot more complex. Solaris versus another grand strategy is that it introduces mechanics slowly as you're building up an empire from scratch. A lot of other grand strategies start with you having an entire empire and have to learn how to you know deal with it all at once, which is a little bit of a pain to me personally. But this one has the benefit of starting from the dawn of time, or the same way that these 4Xs do, obviously it's not the real dawn of time, and the A2 is 4. And I'm really excited about this, so I'm just going to jump straight in and go. Now, well, so we can start off with um, choosing our, our Civ. Um, I'll just go through and look at, look at them briefly. Just like literally have them open, so you can see them. Ava Peron, Senecrib, Howard Florey. I mean, I do. Oh, and he does research as well. Universities and fusion research centers provide plus two research per turn. Craft production plus crafting bandages, soap and antibiotics, and a lot of extra health in that. Free plus housing and capital, prosperity and happiness while not at war. Research per turn, knowledge, pacifist. Oh, this is just me in a nutshell. Okay. Okay, well, I'm going to play Australia then, but let's keep going for the rest. We've got... I'm not going to try and say that one, but... Ooh, the founder of the Aztec Empire. The... Ru to, uh, to create the unbeatable Triple Alliance. Very cool. Um, so this is, anyways, as you see, each of these characters have uh, a different. Um, yeah, they have a different. Uh, they have different skins. Well, that's the blue. The blue's nice. All right. We've got Leopold of Belgium. Irene, Boudica, Wilma. Nice, nice. Luzatine. Oshtish. They seem nice. Nerfedi. Oh, there's actually four for that one. Ah, uh, because she's also got the modern one for the DLC pack you get for um, paying for the slightly more expensive version. I did that because the cheapest version had everything you needed, but... This one had um, some nice looking cosmetics. Oof, I love the um, the scarab necklace. That looks amazing on her. Okay, that's cool. Uh, I, I do admit, I love me playing Egypt in these games because they're often um, based towards making an early start and building wonders. So uh, I do often play most of myself playing Egypt. Elizabeth the, first. the English. Selassie. Ethiopia. Nice, nice. Joan of Arc. Very nice. Tamar the Great, Tamar the Great. yep. Otto von <laughs> Cunning politician and creator of the German yeah, this one does negative search per turn and it's mostly war. I could not play Otto von Bismarck, no. Hildegard von Bingen. Oh, interesting. Hold up. There's two from Germany. This must have been another thing that I got um, for pre-ordering or something. Because, uh, yeah, there's actually two for Germany. One is more peaceful, one is not. Okay. Interesting. Ghana. And there's Greece as well. Yes, this was definitely a, um, I think maybe a... Uh, 
Interesting. Some of them have duplicates. So we've got two Germans, two Greece. We've got two Korean leaders. Okay. Charlemagne. I feel like there's so much we could play. Okay, Pachacuti, the Incan Empire. Very nice. I like his his um, feathers too. Very nice, vibrant green. Ashoka, yeah. Yeah, that just looks like a random guy from like a long time ago. He, he doesn't really look that. Um, I'm sorry, the rest of them are like. You know, really distinct and cool looking, and then you just got this old dude who just looks like he's okay. You know what? Sure. Ooh, love the clothing designs; they're really cool. Oh, now this is interesting. Who are these people? aesthetically to them war against the Romans occupying Egypt huh fascinating so it's not Egypt but it's like a separate but clearly related culture that okay I didn't even know that was a thing I'll have to google that later Benito Juarez, lawyer, statesman, and 26th president of Mexico. excuse me load please <laughs> very good um he served as president of the country during the French invasion of 1861, ruling over government exile for the state of Chihuahua until the French were driven out in 1867. He's remembered as a reformer and pro-liberal political and social revolution, advocated for rights of indigenous people, wrestled civic power from the mighty Catholic Church, and initiated constitutional re reforms. Sounds good. Sounds good. I got Genghis Khan. It's interesting. Some people have recently started to avoid using Genghis Khan because obviously he's a rapist. He's a horrible person as leader. It, it always is almost tantamount to like using Hitler as a leader. Um. So, so it's interesting they've chosen Genghis Khan. I mean, I don't know any other Mongol leaders, which is a failing on my behalf, not anyone else's. Still, very interesting. Ooh, that's fun. Oh, look at the bird on her bloody top. I'd love it. You have a massive bird um, bird head headdress. I, I, I am right on board with this person. This person gets me, you know? Very nice. Very nice. Got Xerxes. So the Persians. Yep. Nicholas Copernicus. <laughs> Fair enough, fair enough. Julius Caesar, who, unlike Civilization VII, doesn't look like a real wimp. <laughs> like, that that looks like what I expected Julius Caesar to look like. He, like, he, he looks strong, he looks mighty, but he looks like he's a little bit, like, thought-provoking. Um, yeah, no, he's, he seems exactly what I expect Caesar to look like. Catherine the Great, lovely bear on the background. So if you want to play with a bear, you play Russia. Very nice, very nice. The Songhai Emperor. Another one I've never really heard of before, but very cool aesthetic. And we've got Spain, Isabella of Spain. I like her, how her three choices are just three different colors of dress. Um, there, some of them are a lot more direct than others, but, uh, yeah, it's fair enough, fair enough. 16th century, fi finance, the voyages of Christopher Columbus leading to Spanish colonization. Oh, so it's your fault! <laughs> Alright, so we got Ram Can Hang in Thailand. Very nice, very nice. I kind of like the colorfulness on him as well. He's very nice. And you got George Washington. Yeah. I mean, there's. Uh, it's interesting, this game. So, the Americans are always in Civ, right? 
which makes no sense because it's starting for the dawn of time, right? Um, then in later games, they started to have some other colonies popping up, like, you know, Australia. But this one's got a bunch more in general. Like, we've also got Mexico in there as well, which is cool. So, I do appreciate that there's more than just one colony. Um, if they're going to include colonies, include as many as you can, or none at all. Venezuela, okay. Oh, that's, that's a look. That's a look right there. The, the black and the green. Okay. And we finally got Shaka. Oh, yeah. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Alright. Well, clearly I'm going to choose Australia. It's literally my play style. It's my country. Like, I, I'm just about to start bursting out of the Australian anthem at this point. Let's go. Alright, so we choose different difficulties. Now, it should be said, I often like to play an easier difficulty in these games. Not because I can't play higher, but because often it's um, the best way of learning the new, new mechanics and getting as far as you possibly can. Because um, I was like, you know, the snowballing effect that these games have tried to stop me from doing. So I'm okay. Easiest difficulty, extra bonuses, friendly AI. Mostly friendly, some bonuses. Default difficulty, some bonuses are friendly AI. And you got the uh, less bonuses friendly AI. I'm going to stick to default for now, but I think when I play myself later, I'm going to stick to difficulty down a little bit more. Because I really do love using my superior. Generate a new map, or we can use a preset map. Fair enough. Alright, so we've got super continents. This is everyone. A global archipelago, the world spine, four continents, that one sounds fun. Fractal Coast, Great Inland Sea, Continental Ishmus, and Twin Continents. So, it looks like there is not a um, Earth map, which may disappoint some people, but maybe will come later. We also set our, our light, light sizes, there is tiny, small, medium, and large, no huge. Also interestingly enough there. Um, we can randomize our seed. We change between different axial tilts. I heard this, and this is basically relating to um, how, yeah, the biomes it is. So this is an Earth-like biomes, whereas some of them could be very weird and wacky. Um, they, they really need to get, get better on their tooltip game. Like, what's the difference between these? I want to highlight over Uranus. I, I, I want to know what, my Ura what, what Uranus looks like, you know? Um, yeah, so... These ones are fairly self-explanatory. Yep, humid, wet, monster. Uh -huh. Sea level average, that's fine. Nations, 12. Higher maps require... Higher maps may require... Higher high numbers may require larger maps. Well, once again, I'll put down the number of people just a little bit. Because, yeah, no. <laughs> and we should be alright, I reckon. You customize the nations we'll be fighting against. Well, these are the defaults, but is there anything else we want there? Oh, interesting. Why is... Huh. Now, is this the difficulty of these people, or is this the difficulty of me? Why is Genghis Khan sent to the easiest difficulty? That's... Does that mean he'll get the most bonuses, or does that mean he'll get the most detriments? I'm going to set him up to the same difficulty as everyone else. And I might regret that, depending on the reason why it's set to that difficulty. <laughs> I also would like to have some set people here. Like, I don't really need Poland, right? I don't need Poland. Let's go for... Let's go for Benito. And uh, uh, let's go for... I don't know. Here's a cool. Mm -hmm. And let's go for. There's definitely no re no no um thoughts in what I'm doing right now. Definitely none at all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are the uh... there we go, Isabella of Spain. Very good. All righty then. It needs to be. New Zealanders, that would be hilarious. 
but no, that's it's fine. That's fine. We're all good. Let's uh, how do we go back? So this I assume. Yep. Okay. I was going to advance settings. Turn limit long. I'm glad that's the default. Randomized text drawers. No human player culling. I mean, no. I don't want to be culled. Vegetation, wildlife, or okay, honestly, no. Let's just stick it all to the fault for now. We don't need to do anything crazy. Okay. All right. Well, I guess that's that. Let's uh, create game. Now there have been some concerns on the reviews, unfortunately, that we are looking at lag and uh, some issues with like uh, performance at the moment. On lower end systems. My system is old, but not super low. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Like, it's definitely mid range these days, but I'm planning on, on building a new computer next year when the 5090 comes out, so. Maybe this early playthrough will be a little bit more laggy than the usual. All right, here we go. Innovation awaits. Eminent Howard Florey, with a mind as fertile as the vast Australian landscape, you have transformed your people from isolated groups of bushwalkers to settlers claiming their place in the world. A little bit of lag in the background. You will grow under a banner of progress with a spirit of discovery and resilience that will come to define your nation. You have the precision of a scientist and the heart of a hero. Your people look to you for the vision to lead them, to inspire them to look upon the world. Look at these ancient Australians standing around the fire. All right. Sure, let's follow the tutorial to start off with. Now, the uh, frames are pretty bad, so I might need to modify things, but that's okay. So it says here, now again, really your, guide you on your journey for greatness to merge among the first among nations. Left click next to continue. A world of choice to explore. Use WASD to move around the map or left click and drag your map around. It's WASD works fine for me. Here's your tutorial checklist. You can keep track of what's next. So I can click on Canberra. So here we got Canberra. Okay, so I'll pick a project for your citizens to work on. Now I was a little bit concerned about how much size we'd have in these cities. But it looks like each tile can have up to five sub things built on it, which is interesting. Very interesting. Okay. And some of them might change in a different amount, I assume. I must choose a thing. I can. So, for example, we have a great hearth here. There's crafting a feast. I mean, okay. But, like, what else can you do? You can also craft jewelry. Or the feast. Okay, so it doesn't look like the feast is actually costing anything. That's good. Let's choose a choose a project. So we'll go here, and we can choose between a farm, a dwelling, or a workshop. Yeah, it's suggesting a farm, so we will build a farm. I wish I put it on the bigger one, so it's going to be a pretty farm, but that's okay. Let's complete a farm, exit city. Now, the uh, speed is definitely not going great at the moment, but it is a turn-based one, so it should be okay. Now, one thing I was concerned about <coughs> when I gave this game was the fact that um, it had these little tokens, but instead of the actual units. But then I realized something very quickly, that I think... Yes, you can still see your troops, you just need to zoom in really far, because let's face it, like, you know, people are tiny in comparison to the world, right? So... These little scattered people could actually go at these houses, which is actually kind of fun. I can give them a move order. We have a few things around here. We have a resource cache, so that's good. We have some wolves, which I might want to get rid of first. We have a tiger, which I'm guessing we can't get rid of yet, because, um, ouch. So I'm going to go for this wolf, right? Alright, it says reviewing the order. So there are all my orders I've made this turn. Okay. Because, yes, this has simultaneous turns. So my character will not actually... This this scout will not actually move out of this territory until I press the next turn button. 
which is interesting. Alright. <clears throat> then my turn. Things happen. I just woke up. Bear. Oh, it is a bear. Aw, look at the bear. I want to zoom in and see the bear. Where is the bear? Show me where the bear is. Where are you, bear? It's meant to be bear. Oof, okay. Wait, there it is! There they are! I see them! Oh, look at them! Oh, he's she's got a cub! Oh. Hello! Oh, little cub ran into the woods. Oh, very cute. Oh, So cute. I don't want to kill him. Meanwhile, over here, we've got our hunters. And they are going to be hunting. They are currently in the process of hunting these wolves. Which is um, fun, I guess. Uh, actually, it's kind of fun seeing them actually trying to fight. <laughs> the wolves just don't give a shit. These guys just get infinite number of spheres. And the wolves just like... Woof, 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 woof. Actually, the wolves don't even see that get much of a shit either. So, okay. Right, we got technologies. Many technologies where to research each turn can provide different benefits, like new improvements and government sites for each citizens. Um, also prestige. Okay. So now let's have a look at our map before we make this decision, right? Alright. So we have some stuff around here. We have, for example, some barley. We have some grapes, which apparently can also produce apples or food, I assume. <laughs> Um, interesting, interesting. We don't have anything else, right? We've only got barley, which is beer, I assume. No, it's grain in general. Okay. So, I mean, if it counts as grain, let's see, rice grain for the following resource. It can also craft bread. Um, okay. And I could do grain storage. Okay. That one's not too bad. Can we do have some grains? We don't have any herbs, so no herbalism. We do, however, have grapes, which we could use for fermentation, which we could use for wine. And Australia is quite known for its wine, especially out of Western, um, out of South Australia. So maybe I should go for fermenting. And I mean, let's face it, Australia also has a horrible drinking problem. So, um, hmm. Animal husbandry, but we don't have any wild, nice animals around. We've only got, uh, Ones that will attack us and kill us. Okay. I think I'm going to go for fermenting. It may not be the best choice in the world. But it feels like it will provide some happiness. Um, and will provide... Yeah, see, one grape timber wood. And it could later become something more. So, I'm going to get fermenting. There we go. Go to your first technology. Um, to separate technology eras. To advance next era requires you researching era catalysts. Which unlocks the number of what what unlocks what the number of specific technologies researched. Once you research the catalyst, any unresearched technologies from that era will no longer be obtained for you to research. Now that's concerning. I guess we might want to stay there a little bit longer if we can. All right, so our predator has been cleared, and we have now revealed ourselves some meteorite. Ooh, very nice, very nice indeed. All right, so. I think this time, I obviously I don't want to kill the bear yet. It says hunts required two, danger three. I don't think we want to kill the bear. The bear is cute, the bear is berry. We definitely don't want to fight the tiger. So let's go up into this resource cache and go grab that. So that's good. Alright. I'm gonna end my turn again. I mean, eventually I assume we'll have all this territory for ourselves. I'm not that concerned. Alright. We got 50 gold. Alright, well, let's keep on exploring. I don't know where we're going to go, but uh, let's see, there might be a mount. No, it's not a mount. We don't know what's there. It's just more hills. Okay. Let's keep going off in this direction. I really have a strategy for this. I don't think the tigers and the bears are actually going to move or attack us. 
I don't think they're actually like barbarians. I think there's like sim similar to that. All right, we've actually found another cache over here, equipment cache. Oh, well, that contains goods, huh? I'll definitely go up there and grab that then. Let's go. All right, how many turns left do we have? We've got two turns left on this. Now, I think from memory, we can actually build more than one thing at once. Like, we may actually want to build, say, another workshop. Or might want to build a dwelling. Now, realistically, I see no reason not build a dwelling and a workshop and even a second farm. I might regret that later, but I just kind of want to see what happens when I build it up. I like the fact I can build them all at once. That's that's nice. All right, case discovered. What did it contain? Um. All right, it's connected to Cage's turn. Also, there's a wolf and a bear in this area. Lovely. All right, research complete. We got wine. Okay, so now I can go for grain storage. Ooh, apparently. Animal husbandry. Oh, no, it's actually saying I can go. I can look. So, wait, what's it say? It's saying point this way. Turns move out. Turns up transcribed. Your farm's complete. I see. I haven't got the notification yet because I'm doing my research. Let's go grain storage first. And then we'll click and see our farm. So there is our farm. It is now producing 2.7 food. Lovely. Very nice indeed. We can give it supplies if we want to. We have a plow we can give it. And we might as uh, You know what? No, let's not give the plow to that one unless we're told to. Um, because we do have a dedicated farming land over here um, with grapes. And I think that would be a lot more useful to put... Well, I mean, maybe the barley would be even better, but still. Also, what's this? Oh, that's cool. Like a burial mound or something. Ah, I see, that's what these things are that I'm discovering. They're like little landscapes. Or they fill these a landscape. <gasps> sheep! Whoa, let's go see the sheep. Oh, look at them. <gasps> I love you. I love you all. Oh, they're running away from the mouse pointer. Ah, uh, I, I, I love, yes, this is beautiful. They're running away from the mouse pointer. Oh no, you're getting petted, little sheep. There you go. Let's just try and, like, Shepherd them. Come on, guys, all together now. Oh, oh, breezy up a little bit there. All right, <clears throat> very nice. Here right. yeah, we're getting a message from. You have collected a cache. Oh, it, I contain one feast, one plow, one wheel, one tunic, one perfume, and one silk. That's a lot, actually. We should see if we can do something with that. Like, for example, I could give these guys a wheel. Used to craft carriers. Used to craft carriages and the great white house. Well, I don't want to use that then. I want to save it. I see. I see. I see. Masterpiece slot. We never made that. Okay. So I definitely feel like at the moment we're still very much at the start of things. Oh. There's a wolf and a tiger. Great. Oh, and clams. Or shellfish. That's very shellfish of you. Okay. Gain prestige. Your actions have started to gain you prestige. Yeah, it's compelling. Click on your current prestige. Okay. Um, all right. Prestige and nation access the highest prestige with the highest game. Okay. So currently, our standings are we're actually number one, which is good. And someone else is day four. Like, though I'm guessing at the start of the game, like yeah, there's not very much prestige on. Yep, yep, yep. Government prestige, all these different ways. Click on them and learn out what you can get. Yep. So, founded cities, quality of life, foundation, commerce, etc. I mean, as a computer player, as an actual player character, I should have a fair amount. 
I'll see how this would go for the bear instead. And the wolf. I don't uh, trust the, the wolf and the tiger. I've got to fight something. I'd rather... Alright, we're producing. Producing a lot of stuff. Now, how will I actually expand, I wonder? Well, I'm number two. Does that mean city tier increase? Claim. Okay, so now I can get Mangarata, Tasmania, Geelong. The oh! All the stuff around me is... That's cool. Okay. Mangarata, clearly. Okay. Very cool. So, on this one, can we build into it? Manage roads. We can't yet, apparently. I really want to build into that, that area. But I guess we can't do it yet. There it goes. Next turn. Gotcha. Predators cl cleared. Oh, did I actually already kill them? Hunter's injured. Oh. How much are you injured? Not much, honestly. Try and go after the bear. I will probably regret it, but, um, yes. Now, we do have the ability to build over here now, which is good. So, we can actually put on this wine vineyard, we can put a farm. And on that farm, we shall eventually put a, um, an upgrade to it, because that seems important. Everything else I'm pretty happy with at the moment, although we probably will need a fermenting pit at some point. But we're going to get grapes shortly. We also need more timber, which will come with time, I assume. Let's go zoom in and see our little town here. Alright, because one of the big selling points of this is its massive world. And I've got to say, at the moment, the uh, the lag is a little bit much. So it's probably because I'm recording. So, let's see here. We've got ourselves some lovely ancient Australians walking around. We've got ourselves our farm. We've got the... Uh, this starting thing we already had here. The Great Hearth, which I assume is the start of our place in general. Okay. We've got our workshop district. and our, Oh no, this is our dwelling district. And our workshop district is going to be over here. Interestingly enough, it does feel like they're still filling it up with other things too. There's a lot of other houses around here that need built as well. It'll be much more fun to go in there later. I also can't help but notice... The roads also spawn themselves, which is good. We've also got our grapes, so we will be able to make our wine very shortly, which is good. Alright, Reese's complete grain storage. Alright, complete our first dwelling. We should grow, you need to continue building dwellings to keep them happy. Okay, well, that's good. Um, Let's see, pottery, ceramic swap. We don't need clay yet. Animal husbandry, there are... There are animals up there. There are sheep. The question is, will I be able to get to sheep anytime soon? Probably not. We have got ourselves. Mm, we could advance out here, but not yet. We are nearest to water, right? And we can build. Oh, we build Stonehenge. Well, I'm definitely going to go for Stonehenge if I can. Yes, please. I think it's idle, they'd be clear. Let's go over there. I might also just give you a chance to rest if I can, because ouch. Alright, got another wheel, that's good. Alright, well let's just uh, have you wait until healed. We might also want to, if possible, build another unit. Can I build amenities? Oh, here we go. Perfume, feast. Well, we might as well build the feast, put the feast in there, yes. Um, but I also want to build, if possible. Hmm. I think I'll specifically need a barracks or something to build that one, I would imagine. Hmm, I see, I see. So if I had rice or grain, I could actually upgrade that even more, which is good. Um, I could also build... I could also build, uh jewelry instead if I wanted to which would be three or precious metals well I didn't have any of that so just trash that for now I don't know if the jewelry is is good we it's a I assume it's a trade good okay interesting interesting I need to complete a workshop which is just about to be done Looks like my dwelling is done, which is nice. 
means I can actually put in some more supplies for there, them in there. If I do, I don't actually have any. They want furniture and rug and carpet. Okay. But still, I think at this point there, they should be happy enough, right? Got three turns left until the workshop's done. Okay, four sealed. I mean... You're not really healed, though. Okay, raising quality of life. Saving citizenry has large impact on your citizens. Measure by quality of life, start placing amenities. Well, I already did that, so it's fine. We need to view a workshop and see what we can build there. Um, there we go. Let's go into Canberra. We'll zoom right on into this workshop and we can produce ourselves either lithic tools which is used in stonehenge so we need lithic tools um yeah and we can speed up crafting by giving them wealth and timber well i mean i might as well do a little bit then i don't want a million of them though but okay okay well i'll sit to that for now but no well, we'll probably need a lot of that won't we Train a military unit. I mean, I want to, but... Oh, for projects. Okay. Formation basics. On projects. Let's manage your crafting views. Manage and review your goals. Manage and review your inventory. Manage and review your masterpieces. Diplomatic relations. Your government. Okay, I have three. I have a 0% tax rate. That's all I can choose currently, because there is no government. It's just a chief. There is a religion, but we can't actually build to religion yet. Okay. We've got paragons. We've got regions. Saying. Oh, I see. We look directly over the regions. Okay. Brusselton, Calgary, Noosa. Oh, this is great. I love it. Victoria. <laughs> so stupid. I love it. Okay. And we've got advisors. We can't do yet because we don't have any paragons. Okay, so down here is crafting, I suppose. Okay, specialists. There we go. So we can have two land units, apparently. And we could schedule them into a squad. They want me to build a spearman, but like, I don't have a spear yet. So I can't really build a spearman, right? Like, so I'll need a spear first. So. <laughs> I can't tell. It's saying build a spearman, so I guess I can do it. I assume I need a spear for that, right? <clears throat> oh, I had one to land. You're not any units in reserve. Okay, let's press plus there. Hmm. Canberra. Okay. Location of the spawn army. Right here. Okay. Assemble formation, squad, battalion, but what does it. You don't have any units in reserve. Okay. Let's move that out of the way. I'm trying to work it out. Let's see here. Great Herf is building those things. That's fine. Alright. How do I build a spearman then? I would imagine I need a spear for that, right? Or the technology behind spearing. Get the paragon. Okay, squad. Battalion. Oh, nice, nice. I feel like I need to have the weapons first, and I don't have weapons yet, so... I'm guessing I can't do that until I get the technology for weapons, is my guess. My scout is still healing, though it's going to take some time. And I'm now finished. Okay, the workshop is also being built. Really stuff. That's fine. Okay, three turns on that. A lot of things happening at the moment. A lot, a lot of things. Okay, so I've got research for fishing camps, which is good. So I'll be able to start on that. I'm going to need archery or husbandry or something. I don't have the ability to make spears yet, so. Let's go for archery. 
logging camps. Considerably logging camp. Okay, responding to advance. Left click on the advance thing. Okay, we've got an event happening. All right. So. No older than 16 enters your fort, springing with excitement. He explains that he and his friends were climbing trees, and while sitting atop a giant oak, he spotted a raised and unnaturally round hill and smoke, as though from a campfire rising in the distance. He requests support to safely investigate. Okay. Fair enough. That seems fair. Alright, so it says here, send a scout. It is negative one, 10 happiness in our turn, 10 turns, and plus 5 jewelry and ceramic pots. Or negative 10 security. I mean, we probably don't need... Happiness is less... Like, at the moment, there's nothing going wrong. I'm just going to arm the kid to do it. Okay. So. It says it wants me of lumber camp down but I don't even know if I can do that yet I think I'd rather do so in place of actual trees otherwise that's gonna be pretty weird um so we'll do that for the next time yeah at the moment I think yeah at the moment I think we're good one more turn on that farm and that will have be a very impressive farm all right we've also got some research five more technologies to reach next year okay all right, ancient history. That's okay. Place of amenity. I already did that, actually. It's still got six turns left. I still know how to build a spearman, though. That is concerning. Yeah, I think I actually need to have... A weapon first. You know, reserves, you must build them in cities. Yeah, I'm working on that, but I don't think I actually have the technology to build a spear yet, so. Okay. I can, however, build rope, which is used to make Stonehenge, so let's make some rope as well. I don't know how much rope we need, but I'm going to do it. In fact, we can probably find out, can't we? Because realistically, we have now researched it, right? So we should be able to see what it requires. This tutorial thing is really getting on my on my nerves. We have a wealth. Okay, so no, we don't have it yet. It must be the next one we're getting then, because uh Hmm. Okay. How are you going? Almost fully healed? Almost. I think that's probably far enough. Let's go on to there. Those reserves. All right. Two more turns and we we'll expand over this territory, I think. Twenty timber, two furs, and one leather. Not bad, not bad. Let's keep on exploring over here. All right, the farm is now complete. We have even more food coming in. Jeez, this will definitely expand next time. Let's go our first paragon. Now, interesting, interesting. We've got three choices. Okay. Okay, so we got an entrepreneur, which is green. I don't know if that relates to the type of them or the rarity of them. So I'm not sure. Um, let's see. So entrepreneur is five wealth per turn. Cities with commerce improvement. We don't have a commerce improvement yet, but it can get ten, 10 plus prosperity for just being our domestic advisor. It wants to be a foreign advisor, giving us three plus merchants, and has master base proficiency. Meh. Five plus happiness and prosperity cities with a culture improvement. We don't have a culture improvement yet, but still. Um, two plus masterpiece completion creation speed in your capital. Interesting. Masterpiece creation speed will turn. We don't have that, but there is a lot more here. This one, however, is five plus C growth per turn in each city below population of five. So that's useful for us. We can move it from one. We can move. Well, that's actually really useful for us getting our cities up larger, which is good. Um, speed and strength for scouts and settlers. So that's nice. Sight to all villages. I think it's going to have that city. Nacy. Nacy. Official and presumed leader of an expedition to Punic. Hmm. 
I think I'm going to make you the um, domestic advisor because it will help our scouts out greatly. And again, military advisor is plus one sight. Oh, the city growth though seems really nice too. And again, we've only got one city so far. It is under five, but like... You know what? Yeah, let's start with the city advisor. I can always move you later, right? Yes, I can move you later and move you to something else. So that's fine. So it should be slightly faster than the next one. When you reach level 5, we'll turn it off. That's fine. Okay, I just advised the Paragon as an advisor. A chief advisor. I did that. That one's done. Alright, well, you know, we don't have the scout... Oh, we, we don't have the scout issues, but we might as well go over there and start dealing with the animals, local wildlife, or else exploring. Alright, research complete. Archery. It's a sort of watch house, a hunting camp, and a wedge formation. Okay. Then we've got animal husbandry, pottery, or herbalism. Now, herbalism will lead to more medicine. Pottery will lead into more ability to craft. That seems important. Animal husbandry also seems pretty important. Interestingly enough, Animal Husbandry also gives Prestige. So I think I have to go for that one. It does so much stuff. Yeah, I think that seems fair. And now we can expand. I want to expand to the Kimberley. I guess it's a mining district, but also some additional lumber. All right, somewhere you saw the force of another nation to those waters. What? First contact. Uh-oh. Nation met. Oh, a military force from another nation. Click the banner to greet their leader. First at the Hello. Yeah, I seem to be interested, though not, though not unhappy with us. So that's fine. I'll just do close that for now. It's just all over the place. It's really in the way. The actual speed of this game. I would definitely love to do some more optimization. I think it's uh, very slow, but thankfully it's a turn-based game, so it doesn't fully matter. You've met Fair and Nefiri. They seem interested, impressed with our culture. Well met. I shall offer you a gift of. Hmm. Let's give you a feast. Uh, yes, the feast seems that way. If it lets me click it. <laughs> we give you a wheel. No, feast is where it's at. Alright, see if he accepts our feast. So I think this game counts to be damaged. I don't even know if this game has any sort of like. Former technology rethink zero. Thought we were closer than that. Alright, nation rankings available. We're still number one. And Neferti is going to be forgettable. So if we're lucky, she'll just leave. She'll just be gone at the end of this uh, era. So that's fine. Well, we don't know that. It's a little while left, right? A golden age has begun. 25 said bonus prestige from all sources of prestige. Ooh, then we need to do more prestigious things. Wow. Wow. Hmm. I am very disappointed, but not surprised. Let's start by putting a logging camp down because we were meant to do that, like so. I would also would like to put a mining camp there, but I can't do that yet. I'm very tempted. Obviously, we have a possible border down here to do a little bit more. At the moment, I'm just going to go and build the fermenting pits right next to our vineyard. So we can actually start producing some wine. The hunting camp harvests during its start. Hmm. 
for now, it's the best thing we've already got. Let's build up what we got. We might need more workshops and stuff soon, too. Oh, wow, that's a huge, huge lumber yard. So, the nearby tribe tries to sometimes reach out. People respond. Okay. There's a tribe. Oh, the Townsville tribe. I see, I see. Well, let's, um... Okay. We've continued to have our feast, but now we can also apply something else. We've got a number of jewelry. That would be the best bet. So let's add a little bit more prosperity to your city. Now, security is a little bit low now, but that's okay. What I really want to do is be able to start crafting some actual, like, weapons of some description. Especially now we're near them. Okay. Let's take tools. Accelerate production. Oh, yeah. Really need stone, stone hinge. But anyway, I don't know how to build it currently. I'm trying to build things towards stone hinge, though. Let's see here. Your scout is still attacking the bear. That's fair. You discovered Townsville. I better go talk to Townsville, to be honest. Okay. Very good. The force is injured, but we're going to send her down here. And if we're lucky, because it's now got extra... Oh, it doesn't have extra speed, but it'll be well. Let's see. Jewelry bonus is turned on. Construction farm is turned on. We found two furs, five food, and one feast. Interesting, we just get feasts by doing that. I wonder if that's the thing. Maybe I need to go to Great Hearth and see what else I can craft. No. Okay. Not yet. So the feast is still the most important thing since we need them for our own people. We are producing grapes, which means we can produce some fermenting pits, which means we can... Okay, that's fine. Alright, let's go. Oh, we met another tribe. <gasps> Rockhampton? I know Rockhampton, let's go! Okay, um, well I don't want to actually attack you guys. Okay, so we've actually got... I don't want to move into Rockhampton anymore. Let's move up here. We don't want to, you know. Race can be improved by maintaining complete goals for the tribe. Okay, they may decide to join us if they like us enough. Well, that's good. All right, Rockhampton. Oh. Please distribute the information in this scroll that explains our rules and customs for celebration. Okay. Um, sure, a little bit of production, but we get uh, 15 furs and one relationship with Rockhampton. So, that seems fair. And Rockhampton now likes us. Very good. We got ourselves a plow, which is nice. Very useful. We got ourselves a bunch of different things we can do now. We can advance towards next era. Or we can get pottery. Let's go for pottery, because I do like pots. Um, I'm going to leave things behind. That's the only problem, right? Like, <gasps> ooh, copper. Now that's an important strategic resource. Yeah, 10 caches in turn. Okay. <clears throat> Let's make sure we're still on top of the world and standings. We are, but not by as much as... A oh, 60 skin. Okay, this is fine. Remarkable, memorable, and Nefiti is literally the worst. So hopefully they'll be going. Maybe I do want to skip to next era just so I can knock them out. We'll keep walking around. We can still go discover Townsville so we can start doing quests for them as well. Okay. Now it sells a lumber camp. It's quite a sizable one, which is okay. Alright, crafting complete. Force is idle. You definitely should not be idle. Take down that, please. I have got to say, crafter idle. Well, let's still produce some feasts, okay?
you can make a couple of feasts. And then you can ask me again. I can give you supplies, but uh, we don't really have much we can do there right now. All of life is looking good. Everything's looking nice and happy. Alright, crafting completed rope. So now we're going back to tools. Unit leveled up. Okay. What does that actually mean? I can wait till healed. I can fortify. This is level 2. I don't see any specific actions for level 2. So I'm just going to wait until healed. Because they're about half health now. I'd very much love to build the spearman. But uh, we don't have any weapons yet. Alright, I think it's time we move on. That wasn't fine, but like, again, it's 14 turns versus. You know what? Let's just go for everything. We're on top. We can stay on top. I don't know if this is a good idea. I just don't want to leave anything behind. Okay. We also do have science, right? Now we've got lithic tools, which we can actually put straight to work to make more lithic tools, right? So this will actually produce even more lithic tools. And apparently there's something else we can build there. Plows. Excuse me, I assume that's what that is. It's plows. I mean, I'll definitely do that, and I'll definitely build one of those. And I'll definitely build another one of those, though we already know that. It's enough, it defaults to five, but I just want a couple at the moment, just so I can have them. I do see why you do multiple, but uh, at the moment, let's just stick to one at a time. Make me one barrel, please. A majestic residence for its leader. Beyond serving as a testament to your success, such a palace can also honor your yes. past and future. Your advisors are excited to build a palace on a site proven auspicious for your people over the centuries. Yes. The urge you to do so with haste. Yes. Alright, be the first to build the hanging hang guns. Well, how do I do that? Is the question. <laughs> like, I would love to be the first to build the hang guns, but how is the answer? Is the question I have right now. Alright, um... No, we don't seem to have the option to yet. We can build a ceramics thing. We don't really have any... Any clay yet, so... Oh well. Golden Age has ended. Sorry about that. Well, it's gonna end anyway, right? Alright. Logging camp. Okay, improvement complete. The fermenting pit. So that means we have the next turn, right? Because it's still being built right now. No, it isn't. It isn't. It still is it's there. So we build wine. And clearly, it's going to be wine because that's what we actually have access to. Like, I don't actually have used to craft sugar and cacao. So, yeah, we can't do syrup. But we can do wine. So you just produce an unlimited amount, an unlimited quantity of wine, and we shall use grapes to help you do that. Interesting enough, it looks like we can still produce these things even without the raw resources somehow. Before, has that not been there? Or, like... Like project. Oh no, it's just literally just that. Okay, so nothing. Triumph, Stonehenge. Okay, so I need five lithic tools and ten ropes. Okay, well now we know how to do it. It's actually there on the map now. So we need five lithic tools and ten ropes. So now we know what we're building, right? So let's go to the workshop. Screw all the bass baskets. We don't need them anymore. We don't need that. No, nope, it's gone. I mean... Okay, maybe not gone, but you are halfway through building the bar bar basket, right? Like, no, no, pal. All right, so what we need is, we need 10 ropes, right? It was 10 ropes, right? 10 ropes and five lithic tools? Yeah, 10 ropes and five lithic tools. So I'm going to add the 10 ropes on here and start building them. Now, the thing is, though, this is a pretty big prospects so we're gonna have to put a little bit of our own self into this we don't have any silk so it's just wealth we put in too much though we won't have anything left so I can't put any more in or I'm gonna go into deficit but still 
Um, City Idol. Oh, I mean, we could build a scout or settlers or, or archers or spearmen. Oh, okay. Let's see. Let's build some archers and another set of spearmen. Have them as an army. Okay. I'm glad. Then we can build ourselves some settlers. Now we know it's possible as well. Are we still on the top? I feel like the, we're going to be dropping down sooner or later. Okay, we're still okay currently. There's so much to do. I love it. Alright, three, three turns till train complete. Wow, that didn't take long. I will put it in there. I will, I will put it in there, but I just want to have a couple of archers in there as well, okay? It's okay. What I want is to have a larger force than that. I want a battalion if I can. Alright, so we've got herbalism. Means now we must work towards bronze era, which is fine. Let's advance to the next era. So another way to can proceed is to build triumphs. I'm working on it, trust me. Okay. I'm trying very hard to work on triumphs. Claiming a region, okay. Honestly, I do like the idea of claiming Hobart. So a lot of food there. We've also got some stone over here, but that requires us to kill the bear. We've got some gold over here, and that'll also link us to Townsville, I assume, as well. Um, we could go to Calgary, Bustleton, Perth. Hmm. I think Hobart's still the best bet, because it has got a little bit of additional love over there. That's fine. Alright. So, units idle. Let's keep going around. You don't need to go through the walls specifically. It's for the Encarta. Yeah, that's fine. Region claimed. Okay, let's actually start building with this then. So that barley needs to be harvested, right? So we'll go here and we'll use a farm so we can gather the barley. Very good. Apart from that, we could get an apothecary, a ceramic shop, a butcher's shop. A hunting camp, a logging camp, a watchtower. Almost said to build a second workshop. In fact, that might not be a bad idea if we're trying to aim towards um, specific things. So I'll get that. I might hmm, also get a granary once we get grain. Because that should produce granary. In one garter, though, we will also produce, think, another dwelling. And maybe a... I'm almost said to put a watchtower there, but we don't know what to expect, right? So, we're going to keep that for now. we now got the second reserve. We've got one, one march I want to build first, or something else, because I want to do a battalion. And I want to contain the spearmen. Oh, actually, I don't actually know which one's top. I think, do you think these ones will be the front, this will be in the back, right? It's facing this direction, yes. So, what was the second spearman to put right at the front of this battalion? So, we will do that. Okay. I think there is Townsville down there. Must be. Agreement proposed. Open borders. Sure. don't really have much to go through at the moment, to be quite frank, but that's okay. Alright, we've got another reserve, so now we can make ourselves a battalion, which will be the first battalion in the existence, which is good. So we can deploy it, it does have a food upkeep, but that's okay. Now another thing we can do is we can think about maybe building another scout, or even another... No, it's fine, the moment's fine, we're still building stuff. It's okay. We have a troop. We have an army coming out next time. Hello. Apparently we do have a metal ingot, so I will give it to you, especially since we do have metal nearby. So, you can take it, my friends. And they are now loving me. Interesting. Mustering Courage. It'll take three turns to muster them into existence. Okay. If 
fine. We got a case which actually contained a metal ingot. Lovely. I was wondering what happened there. Go for this ruins case. Mastering begins. Very good. The battalion is rising. We've also got some crafting, ropes, etc., which is good. There's agreement proposed, a trade agreement. Sure. I'll do it, but only because you're right next to me, but I'm guessing you'll be rather forgettable. Easily assimilated tribe. Okay. I took in Rockhampton by the looks of it. Wait, did they just join me straight away? I think they did. I think they just joined me as my people. They did. Um, at least I think they did anyway. I can't see them on the map anymore, so... Fair enough. That actually works fairly interestingly. That is quite cool. Alright, my units are idle. Honestly, I'm almost tempted to have them go and kill this tiger. Like, they should be able to handle it, right? But will they get the same rewards as a scout? Maybe. Alright, claim generated. So, now we can generate. They are already gone, strangely enough. Like, they just don't exist anymore, which is a little bit of a shame. Um, we got one claim. Honestly, at this point, we probably need the resources more than food. I've like, got plenty of food. I wouldn't mind getting some more resources. Now, the problem is... I don't see anything else on the map special. I'm tempted to get down to Victoria, but this one here is even nicer. I guess it's a little bit closer to this copper. Yeah, I think this is the one. Okay. It's a little bit closer to copper, which is probably the most important thing, right? And there's also some sort of like Mandrake route. I see. Well, let's keep on moving this general basic facility. That's fine. Also, also, we need we are now level five, which means this person should no longer be our chief advisor. Nations of the world become more connected. Illustrations of nature's many flowers are treasured by commoner and leader alike. I would definitely love to build the great lighthouse as well. Thank you. Okay. How are we going on our crafting of rope? Okay, the other workshop will be crafting the tools as well. Also, there's some tea there. I don't remember that being there before. I guess we just discovered what tea is. Okay, there's Tansel, and they do not seem as happy with us. Which is a bit of a shame, but that's okay. We can get them. Okay, our hunting battalion is hunting predators. It is losing a lot of health very quickly okay <laughs> i mean they are tigers but it's not, just, it's not just they are tigers it's one tiger um <laughs> how is this taking three turns <laughs> bloody tigers oh speaking of let's see what else is here your battalion lost 120 health Sheesh, that's a lot. They'll only be they'll only be almost dead by the time they finish. Oh, that's concerning. Right, we claim that tribe. That's that that area. That's fine. All right. Okay, nothing new to explore there. Let's keep moving. All right, we we do have our territory here, right? We do have our territory. Currently, we are running a little low in health. And a little low on security. So we need something to increase security. And I'm thinking one thing we should have to include security would be a watchtower. Right? So I'm going to build a watchtower right at the edge of our town. That seems important. We also need health. Now we don't actually have the herbs per se. But we probably have something else we do. Ooh, first of all, granary. That will also have to give health, right? Yes, it does. So we need health. Very good. Very good. I almost want to go with the tea. The tea would have to provide some health. In the Kimberley, maybe we should just build... This is an apothecary, but we don't really have enough space. We could build another logging camp in the Kimberley. It, it may double down on it being like a, a really heavy production region. So maybe that's the way, right? A couple of logging camps there. And we will be mining there soon as well. All right, Battalion might be about to die. Oof. Uh, 
Okay, I'm just going to save. Yeah, there we go. Because if this dies, I want to return and not have that happen. Alright. Please don't die. Rather cleared, but so was my hunters killed. Okay. Okay, so that's interesting. All right. I'm going to move these guys out so they don't die to a bloody tiger. Run away, friends. You can regroup and hopefully kill the tiger. It only requires one more hunt anyway. So this way, at least. In fact, let's move you back home so you can re... re, re there we go. I'd rather that than anything else. Um, Besiege, pillage... Wait and heal some HP. Okay. There you go. Units idle. Alright. You know, I wouldn't mind a city to the south here. There is actually some clams here. I'm kind of, Okay, let's go here just to see what's off the coast. Because if there's something nice on the coast here, between that and the bison herd, this could be a nice, like, port town. What is this place called? Don't know. They either have an Egyptian name or an Australian name. Okay, crafter idol. Yes, I just want you to produce an ungodly sum of lithic tools. Okay? You can even use some materials to do so. And some timber. As we need to get... We need specifically to get enough to build... You don't know how to select that project. It's suddenly shop here. I mean, I guess we can't unlock it yet, so we gotta wait. I guess. Congratulations! All right. You are the first nation to reach the Bronze Age. Very good. I can now use copper. I can also now research masonry, which gives me the chance to build the pyramids, which is very nice. We can build a palace, which is even better. Um, Code of Wars giving us Nimrut Dag. Okay. Which also increases our city so they can build by one. Oh, that's what I definitely want. Oh, fudge. We've got iron working, which seems important. Trading, which is very important. Weaving, sacred rights. Oh, there's so much we can do right now. Road pass. Roads between your own cities and nation capitals. I would love to build a road, and we've already got some wheels. We don't really have pottery we can deal with. Oh, that's logging camp. Bakery. A loan camp we've already gone elsewhere. I see, I see. So we've already got one camp before. Now iron working seems very interesting. We don't have any we do have a little iron actually. We do have a very little bit of iron. Hmm. What is the most important thing based on what we're currently doing? I actually think the most important thing is probably masonry. Just because we are wanting to build the Stonehenge. And this does give us the city, so... Oh. Okay, never mind, we just, uh... That wasn't actually us choosing, so we might actually have other things to choose. Let's go masonry. <clears throat> That'll get us sculpture. And we'll get us palace, and apparently also would have given us the ceramic shop and all that, but, uh... Interesting, interesting. Okay. Emissary arrives from a foreign ruler. As foretold in our holy book, an eclipse is almost upon us. We must amass prayers to avoid great rules. Cease searching for meaning. Together with us to build halls for prayer and worship ahead. We can have our own religion, thank you very much. Yeah, I like the idea of this territory down here. I might have to build up down there. Let's uh, keep moving on. We'll get ourselves that. Does that still require one hunt? Yes, it does. You're still in great amounts of pain, so you can just keep on waiting. Don't look at me like that. You guys are the ones who are in pain. 
Our relationship changed. Egypt is not very happy with us now. But you also took I might see if I could give you some wine. Oh no, you don't want wine? Okay. Um, she doesn't like anything we're offering her. The feast would have been the most useful, but we're out of those. But I'll still we'll try and offer her some wine to make her so she's uh, no longer hating on us. Okay? That's because I didn't take her religion. I'm sorry. I need health. Health is needed. Okay. Okay, the improvement is completed. We finished off building our dwelling. So good. <clears throat> our force is healed. I mean, it is true. Our entire army, our brand new army, our battalion of epic proportion almost got killed by a single tiger boy. Like, who'd win between my army and one singular solitary tiger? Honestly, Egypt, you're not being very nice, and I would like to kill you. But I'm not going to. My army is busy fighting the same tiger again <laughs> with the hope that this time it will happen differently. Okay. That's... That's hilarious. That's... That's just hilarious. <laughs> Honestly, that tiger deserves to live at this point, but anyway... All right, you can go take down that wolf. A bit weaker than a tiger. All right, hunter's injured. That's okay. They actually killed it this time, right? Though, All right? Yes. And we got two levers, one fur, and a feast. Very good. Well, you guys can go back to town and keep resting, because once again, that tiger still managed to tire you out. Bloody hell, guys. Now, Canberra is almost done building everything. Its watchtower is almost done, which is good because that gives me additional security and gives me a little bit more security against the bloody Egyptians at our borders. Alright. Tiger Healer arrives at your palace and is granted an audience. She explains a mass hysteria broke out among the citizens of her tribe. People began to contort almost as if she were dancing. Okay. Unsure of what caused the hysteria or how to manage it, their leader wants to build a place where the hysteria can be contained. Can you help them do so? Okay, I guess I'll send a prayer, which I don't know how that would do anything, but uh, it gets us more prestige, so that's a good idea. All right. Okay, you're going to hunt that wolf, right? Yes, you are. My other troops, you are idle, but that's okay. You need to rest a little bit more before I send you out to kill something else. Alright, our work, our um, ongoing strength forces within this region. Well, not, we can just, that's a good place to leave them when they're ready to fortify them. That's fine. Um, we can also build ourselves with some wine in here if we want to. It does lower our, our knowledge though, so we might not do that. Our happiness is already pretty high. In fact, realistically, I'm thinking I keep that off for now. Now, another thing is we did just get the ability. Okay. Apparently we've got a stone pit now, so does that mean we can actually use it? Stone pit. No, see, I wouldn't want to build it there, would I? But I could build it over in Shingleton. Singleton. I might just wait a little bit. Oh, no, I will build it. Let's see, I'll build it over in Shingleton. I'll build a stone pit. There we go. That will get us more materials, I assume, but that's okay. Okay, I think they don't all build at once. I think they do build in sequence. That is one thing I, I think I screwed up with whenever I was saying before. That's okay. We got another event. Red-headed young man from the Garmir clan is looking to open a new business. He's a capable herbalist, but his family's background is in metallurgy. Oh, interesting. Meanwhile, his hobby is creating reed pipes to sell to traders. He makes a promising case for each venture and requests national funding for one of his enterprises. Yes, definitely. Um, let's go for irrigation. We've got a lot of farming, and I'd like to increase that. So let's, we can fund herbalism. We can fund metallurgy. Oh, dang it, metallurgy. We can do trading. No, let's go for funding herbalism. Let's get the irrigation up. I think that sounds important to me. Units idle. That's fine. You can keep on hunting the wolves, I guess, around town. That gets us more feasts, so why not? We've got unit 
who is still like, oh, you can level up. No, no, it's because your forces within this strange region. You're just stronger because you're fighting in my territory. Interesting. Interesting. All right, so now progress towards irrigation has been increased. So that's good. All right, we've also got up here diplomacy issues. Okay, Townsville's happy with us. That's okay. Well, Rockhampton just joined us before, so. <laughs> Hopefully Townsville does the same thing, because I would very much like to not have Townsville there. Alright. Our people are now fine. I think I'm going to go kill this black bear. I don't want to kill the black bear, but it does give us this space in the middle, which I will eventually want to expand to myself, I'd imagine, because it looks like there's a lot of wood there. Alright. Our Paragon is available again. So we have three choices once again. We have Satmus, an artist, which does... 20% production towards cultural triumphs in all cities. Ooh, that's very nice. Build production in all cities. Build production towards triumphs in your capital. Okay. Uh, masterpiece proficiencies. We've got war advisor. 10, 10 plus... Writer advisor. Homer. 10 plus knowledge in all cities. Knowledge in your capital. Hmm. I do like that one, actually. As a chief advisor, that would be very good. Okay, let's choose Homer. Homer and we'll make you our chief advisor, and you shall become our domestic advisor. Very good. Okay. We can also technically advi send our advisor with a uh, formation, but I don't want to do that yet, so... Unless I can do it as a separate thing. No, I cannot. That's okay. It's idle. Um, You can just keep... There's corn over there. Yay, corn. I love corn. Um, well, we've explored this whole area. Now let's go all the way up there. We still can't do much else there yet. Townsville will be about to join us, I reckon. And we're only a couple of turns off reaching next next size of Canberra. So we've got Crafter Idle again. You're just going to build me grain. Yes, indeed. Build me grain stores. And I shall put the grain in the grain store. We... I don't want to use ceramic pots, so I'll just put grain into, I don't know, like, nothing? I don't know how that works. Alright, we can give supplies, we give a wheel to them, which I don't want to, because I'll need that for the Great Lighthouse. So for now, you just keep on producing your grain storage. That's okay. And we've got another lumber yard coming in. Very good. Alright, so we had prog progress already towards, um... It was, it was in irrigation, but I can't see that on this list. So I guess we, oh, I think it just got it. Okay. Because 125 is how much it gave us. So I think we literally just paid for that. Well, let's go for the wheel then. Because A, prestige. B, wheel. C, we're in a golden age. So yay. So that's a good time to get some more wheels. It's a really good time to get wheels. It's really great. Just really amazing. I, I sorry, I just needed to roll with it. You know. Ooh, I got my first expert in Canberra. Oh, I have an expert. I see. And that expert can apparently be assigned to things like a pop wood. So for example, I could put it to one hundred crafting increase. I see. I can put the expert anywhere to have it um, bulk up what it can do. Like craft production increases the yield as well. Okay, well, hmm, maintenance goes down or changes. I said he buys stuff, gives extra food. Oh, I like this. Fermentation and si plus the happiness. That gets just blanket plus happiness as well as crafting provolence. That sounds great. Craft production for the whole city goes up by 5%. Damn. Well, I mean, shoot, I can't say no to plus five to the whole city. That's great. Okay, I'll take that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, the experts must be an alternative to actually extending, right? Because I don't have another claim. No, I do have another claim. I can't. And I can now claim this. Excuse me. Excuse me. 
I can claim lift grow. Which means I will now have that copper in my territory. Which is very, very important to me. Alright, let's send it back. This time we're going to send it to the Watchtower region. And then we'll rest. Alright, we now have our army sitting in our research area. Okay, we've got units which are once again idle. That's okay. We can grab the cage. We can kill the wolves. That's okay. We've also gotten ourselves... We've spotted a kitchen supplies. Yes, indeed. New biome discovered. Temperate forest. Okay. Alright. And we are currently building what? The stone pit. Okay. That's fine. Everything's building up nicely. The force is being healed. Okay. You're going to kill that, and then you're also going to rest, unfortunately. Alright. You're fully healed. You are okay. You know what? No, you're still okay. Let's send you that next cache. There we go. Now, how are we going? We'll know in six turns if we can build the Stonehenge. I don't want to kill this, this wolf. I know the tiger. So... I th um, think I'll move towards this wolf first. It's a nice weak wolf. There we go. It's interesting how the ar the um, armies do so poorly at that. Okay. We now have our stone pit. Which means Canberra is our job. And I can say, select project. And I can say, I want you to work on Stonehenge. And where can I put Stonehenge? Oh shit. Stonehenge uses up an entire area. Um. Oh, I don't want to give away the... Shoot, I don't want to do the entire area as Stonehenge. Hmm, does it also gather things? I like, I want Stonehenge. It means I need to expand further. I think where that bear goes is where it would be. For now, though, let's... No. I've got to build... So I'm not going to actually even mine that yet, which is annoying. Right, let's build our palace, first of all. Because that seems also very important. We'll build a palace. The so palace gives us 1 plus city cap, 50 prestige, and bonus quality of life status if built in the city center. Oh, so it needs to be in Canberra. I see. I guess I'll I'll break down, break down one of the farms if I can. I don't know if I can. Did I just not... Yeah, am I just not able to do that? No, I I can demolish it. I'll demolish this farm. Got plenty of food anyway. And then we shall put the palace in next, I guess. Right, we can also build a water well, which is city health, which we needed before, and prestige. Harvest to farms and upgrades in this region. So... Farms and their upgrades in this region. Well, Canberra is the only one with farms currently, which means... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Does this count as a farm? Yes, it does. Okay, so this also counts as a farm. So I'll put a water wheel here. A water well here. There we go. Alright, you can keep on collecting those caches. We're seeing more animals laying about. This is very good. We've got the wheel and five prestige because we were the first one to research it. Very good. I need mining, right? Like, I really need mining. Um, but trading is also good. It gets us prestige. It gets us... Well, we've already got roads. But it gets trading posts and trading goods. And do I really need it? No. Let's go for code of laws. Okay. You can go get rid of this wolf. That's fine. You're going to get rid of that wolf. That's also fine. Okay. What I really need to do is get one more territory. That one's nice and crappy. So I'll put the city right there. Inklings of a nearby tribe have created impressive woven fabrics and patterns for the changing weather. You send your emissaries to trade for some of their work, but they are stopped by the tribe's leader. It is our belief that both our peoples have unique... Let's just accept the trade right now. They'll probably join us very soon if we do. Alright. You can keep on moving down to kill more wolves. 
Golden Age has ended. That's a shame. All right. Anytime you just rest for a little bit. All right. City is now idle. Well, it doesn't have to be. Let's go to Lifgrow. Lifgrow is pretty big, right? Also need a front line. So. I could build. I don't need a butcher's shop. Wouldn't mind ceramic. Okay, let's just build a ceramic slot shop just in case we get some clay from the ground or something. We can also build a apothecary here for the same reasons. Just so we can have it, not because we actually necessarily need it. It's not the best place for it, but at this point we kind of want everything. Oh, actually, you need to build more jewelry too, don't you? There you go. All right, Hunter's injured, that's okay. As long as they're still alive, they are. You can see if you can work towards that cache. Hopefully you can still gather it, even though you're an army. All right, flame generated, fantastic. Hmm, this has some pretty good resources, but it's otherwise pretty boring. So this is where I want to build. This is where I want to build Stonehenge. Okay. So they cannot gather caches. Only scouts can. That is something we've learned. Which is good. Alright, we've only got two attacks to kill that cougar. I have to watch to make sure it doesn't kill us, but that's okay. Just got the Nimrod Dug. That's fine. I think we need to start A, building towards sacred rites. And B, we need to build a second city. The question is where? I wouldn't mind one by the sea. Especially since there's this corn down here. Um, and this bison herd. I think around there might be a good idea because then we've got access to the shellfish and the fish, the coastal fisheries and such. That would be fun. We've also unlocked the monarchy government type. So I can become king. It gives us an intrinsic bonus of security in my capital and prosperity. I can also choose a prosperity, a um, policy, policy of wealth. Your palace provides quality of life in the city it's built. So that's nice. Your city sees... I'm about to build a palace. Let's put that one on. I'll keep it as a low tax rate, which is better than what it is currently. It also increases 15 plus, percent, 15 plus happiness, city growth, and tax. In all cities all set to this rate. That's fine. So even though this is the first time they've ever been taxed, uh, they're happy enough with it. So that's fine. All right, we've got another crafter that's idle. We can build some decorative vases. And... Uh, we don't have anything to build with. Uh, it's a shame. So, just slowly trying to build the most ugly decorative vases ever. Gotcha. Alright, you're fully healed. I'm going to send you back down here so you can start working on some of these other creatures near us. And I want to build a settler. A settler will be very important right now. Indeed, indeed. All right, nation rankings available. I am still number one. However, this second person here is catching up on me quite a lot. Thankfully, Egypt is still going to disappear at the end of the act, which is brilliant because I don't need to worry about caring about them at all. The scholars come to you for guidance. An ancient religious text was found that they believe holds important wisdom. However, the nation that found it will only share their findings if you acknowledge that their religion preceded your own. The evidence is in the text sacred. Yeah, screw you, Egypt. Okay, I'm definitely saying screw you, Egypt, a lot. I wonder if I should just send my troops back to my borders just in case they decide that um, they won't take any more of it. I can deal with them. They're not that strong, I don't think, but... Uh, you gotta be careful, I think. All right, you can try and take down a tiger. I'm a little bit apprehensive about you doing so, but that's okay. We need someone to kill that tiger. Incoming gift. Interesting. They're gonna offer me a feast. Okay. Does that mean they are worried about me attacking them? I wonder. Well, that's even better then. Okay, let's build. 
the wonder. So we're gonna select the project. And we're gonna build ooh, we can actually build Nemrod Duro. Or Stonehenge. I want Stonehenge though, because that sounds fun. And build Stonehenge right in the middle. It's only eight turns to complete, so that's good. Um, hopefully it still provides those resources. I think it does. Oh yeah. I'm gonna build Stonehenge. Oh yeah. I hope. I mean, I know how hard it is to build in this game, but this one did take a little bit more to do, right? So I assume... We don't have any Mandrake, we don't have any tea leaves, and we do have ceramic pots, but not that we're producing, so... Sorry, nothing can help you with that. Alright, research complete. Prestige. We got Missionaries, Codex, the Altar. Okay, cool. We can also research trading now, which I think we should. All right, units are idle. You need to rest, but you did at least kill them without dying yourself. So good job. Stonehenge has been constructed with seven turns left to go. Is there any way I can make this go faster? I can rush it with wealth, but no. Can I put an expert on it? I do have a second expert apparently. No, I cannot. I'm going to put, however, on the happiness one to increase our happiness even further. Unfortunately, we are out. We are out of that, so let's put on the city growth, city food one instead. And put on the wine, because we're producing a fair amount of wine already, so everyone can drink in Australia. That's about similar to how it is now. Claim generated. So we can now generate another claim. I want another quote unquote useless area, so I can build that other city. So let's take Tasmania. That's as useless as it comes. Fantastic. All right, I also, there we go. Okay, you guys can rest a little bit more. Oh, okay, event. This could be rock camp. This could be Townsville again. On a family of traders, they witnessed quibbling over the need for a structured trading post. Their leader tiredly reminded them that their timber supply is low due to a fire, but they kept pushing, insisting that he source the material because their post will- He doesn't trade goods. And then they should join us next turn, right? Hope so. All right. It's interesting. The barbarians aren't aggressive towards you, and you can just have them join you. I do appreciate that quite a lot. So you can keep on right waiting for now. Okay. Our units are now full up. Hmm. I might go and scout out Egypt's borders with my troops, which is completely normal and fine, and nothing's going to go wrong, Egypt. Alright, and we have now built Stonehenge! Oh, I'm so happy about that. I could go to the next era, which will only take four turns, but no, I'm going to go for chariot, sails, something else. Um, Let's go for stirrups. It's only two turns. we got tons of that coming right now. Alright, and we can also select another project, which will be Nemrot Dark. Which is city cap increased, and we can just shove it right on here and have a second triumph. This does mean, however, we are definitely going to need another city soon. Because, um, my triumph is completed. Woo! Stonehenge! Oh, I'm so happy about that. Yay to Stonehenge. I'm so happy. It's so pretty. Oh, and look at all my people gathering to cheer! All the Australians so happy about building Stonehenge. Good job, guys. Such an Australian landmark. So true. Oh. I'll have to start, um, you know, and we're also building this other random wonder I've never heard of before over here. Um, so that'll be fun too. Another city camp has never been something to scoff at. Alright, they have a military of their own, but they're only with the spearmen, whereas I have actual full-blown archers. I'm just going to walk past them. No need to... In fact, wait a second. We have open borders with them, right? I could just peacefully explore their territory. It's peaceful, right? It's peaceful. It's like sending a zeppelin to someone's territory. Completely peaceful. Mm, we don't have any horses yet. He's got sails. That would be nice. I think sails is useful, especially with the Colossus being there. Oh, I met another nation. Who did I meet? You oh! I met Benito! 
Hello. Good. Well met to you, Benito. I would like to offer you a gift. Um, of tools. I'd like to be a gift of tools. Okay, speaking of tools, we have a lot of them apparently. Which means we should probably try to power up some of our stuff. So let's go back here and see what we can do. We can put a tool in this workshop, for example. And you can actually start producing other things now that you're no longer... Well, we need more, more of those for the Great Lighthouse. No, we don't. We need more of those. Okay, so a couple of those. A few more ropes. It's fine. A couple more wheels. Yeah, just keep building. All right, now what else can we put there? Can we put a second tool in there? We put a rope in there, interesting enough. You know what? Sure, put a rope in there as well. All right, ooh, we've actually got four experts now. Okay, so we can put one over here, which increases seed defense in the city. Craft insurance, we need craft improvement, craft improvement. City build production, plus that, that's good. Hmm. That does change. And again, money is actually worse than that, so. Yeah, I think I'd rather it cost us that. All right, we can upgrade our yield of money, so that's good. That's an extra five there, so that's really important. So let's definitely put one there if we can. Excuse me, can I just click to assign? There we go. Click to assign, perfect. We've also got ourselves craft improvements. Honestly, hmm. I guess over here for the city build production because we are building Nemrot Dag, which will take a bit of time. So how are we going in terms of who is second on the standings? It's not Benito. It's someone else. Benito is fifth, fifth though, so he, he still will be around in the next age. Nef Nefertiti though is about to disappear and no longer not exist. So that's good. Let's explore the territory. Okay. Last jet. A city of six people, which is much, much smaller than mine. Aw. You, you you denied our gift? Aw. Look like Aww. friendship. Okay, I'm in a golden age again. That's good, especially since I'm about to finish my wonder, and I assume that increases my wonder production of stuff too. Oh, yes, please. All right, we definitely need to send someone up north to build a city. So I'm going to do that as well. Right. Things and build a little gap between uh, Mexico and us as well um not to mention we should be able to get a bunch of stuff as for this city we'll expand it out further we'll get this bison here instead and then we'll move out and get the tea as well so i think we'll have plenty of space should be where we can all right keep exploring keep exploring they might even have a second town for all we know which uh, isn't as good as our town apparently all right we'll get weaving I'm going to go as far as we can. Yeah, they do. They have Dendera and Wazjet. Okay, so they actually have more people than us. Although, they're not as prestigious. Alright, so. We can get... Okay, we've already got a Chief Advisor and Domestic Advisor. A Military Advisor, sorry. Or is it Domestic? I think it's Domestic. Um, Yeah, Culture Advisor. That's... Scopus is nice. Build production towards triumphs in all cities. It's culture, but still. Build production towards culture improvements. We don't have culture improvements yet, but that might be a nice forward-thinking one. Then again, we are reaching a point where we could actually take advantage of religion. So let's go for my hero, I think. And we shall make her be our cultural advisor for now, okay? So once this wonder's done in two turns, then we will build ourselves something else. I'm not sure what, but we will do so. Well, settler, settler probably is what I'm going to say. Aha, there's Mexico. So Mexico is just at the other end of... Oh, we've... Okay, I definitely want to build a city where... Okay, 
right? Because we want to make sure we've ca we've captured as much of this territory as possible, so you can have a nice defensive line in case Mexico decides they want to be um, less than peaceful. I don't think they will, though. Their leader is a very peaceful leader, um, and Mexico itself isn't exactly the world's most aggressive um, people out there in general. So, I think we're fine. I think that's probably one of the best neighbors we could possibly have asked for. Okay. I'm going to get chariots, because I'm the only one here, so it might lead to some issues, but no, I think it's fine. Mexico's happy enough with me regardless. My triumph has been completed, so there we go. Everyone once again comes because they are happy that Australia continues to show how great of a city, a uh, nation it is. Alright. So, we've got a bit Okay, that's okay. Let's go for settlers. It'll take only three turns. That's fine. All right, and while we're doing that as well, yep, that's fine. We're training a settler. That's the idea. I also want to build more ropes. So let's go to one of our territories, one of our, these guys who's just producing endless tools, and get to build a lot of ropes because we're going to need a lot of ropes, a lot, a lot of ropes, so much rope. Okay, we've got plenty of wealth. I'm actually double down on the wealth production of that rope. There we go. All right. Nation has been met. Oh, no, that wasn't Mexico. Who was this then? Uh-oh. Oh, Ethiopia. I don't know. I think they're more warlike. Yes, they've got production towards military buildings. They've got strength within your capital stations. They sound more defensive than offensive. Hmm... But yeah, something to consider. I was hoping it was Mexico nearby, but no, apparently it's Ethiopia. Okay, that's okay. We'll just avoid them. We'll keep exploring Egypt at the moment, because that's about to all be free real estate. We've got another turn until we get our settler. Okay. You can just keep getting caches. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, they haven't expanded too much by the looks of it. Yeah, still, I think collecting, building up a row along here, build a wonder here if we need to, but yeah, we've got a massive untouchable mountain range that is a perfect defense between us and them. Using a settler. Yes, I will click on the settler, and I'm going to put it over here here because they're about to disappear egypt is about to disappear right so we've got to keep in mind egypt is going to disappear so we do not want to move in that direction anymore now we could go and get the t i think that sounds like a decent idea um the t is a little bit further away from us although there's also natural dyes which would also be very useful for us we could get the bison herd right now but it's still getting a little bit further than here. I still want to have a city down here, I think, maybe one day. So they will need some stuff. I think... Next time, we'll claim the T. Okay? So we're going to claim Perth. I hope we keep building this, this place larger, but that's okay. So we also select another project. We can eventually build the Great Pyramid, but at the moment, I'm actually going to build another set of settlers and send them up north. We've also got a specialist available. Oh, that's, that's them. They're already moving. All right, events. Okay. Oh, a different tribe. It seems the man stole from the treasury. But the guilt was too much, and he came forward to return his purloined prize. The ruler is about to pass judgment, but interested in your sense of justice, ask Condemn, because that makes you you'll, you'll like us more. <laughs> Sorry. It's like not the best reason to choose something, but, uh, you yeah, know, I, um, I very much want to be on everyone's side at this point. I mean, we just had um, both Rockhampton and then Townsville join us. Um, so that was nice. We've got our... Okay, let's just end the turn. Okay, chariots increase. So now we can get ironworking and go to the next era. We are getting closer. We are still at the lead of everyone, which is fantastic. We're also getting different... Ooh, we got iron, sculpting material, logging... Okay, logging camps are way there. We can't go without the era without anything but logging camps. Gotcha. Alright. 
Oh, interesting. Gems. I wouldn't mind having some gems. Okay, and there's some salt there as well. Okay. Alright, we have 1.1. 1 .1. Alright, Settler. How do you work? How do I build for you, exactly? Hmm. Build a city. There we go. Choosing location. Highlights the map will indicate how you see this fed. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I want to build it right here, though. Zone rating. Resource rating. Yeah, so let's build it right here. They're about to disappear, and that's how... There we go. It takes a few turns. That's fine. There we go. First nation to reach the Iron Age. I'm now in the Iron Age. Fantastic. Um, next age, the Egyptians will be gone, I believe. So that is something to think about. I think getting coinage is good, although we are running low on food now. So we might want to also build up our supplies of food. Alright, and thus proceeds to survive the transition. Next act will be when four players have advanced into the early Middle Ages. Oh, they actually have to advance first. I see. So if we're ahead, that's good for us. Alright, we need more food. So, ooh, first of all, altar. Let's build an altar somewhere. Let's build it right down here. <clears throat> Let's also build a bakery, because we do have the ability to with our grain. Um, uh, you know, no, no, no. So, Let's see. We don't want to build this bakery. Also, we've got some mines, which we can't do yet. Let's go to Wungata. It's already got a farm. So we can build another... F we can build a... A farm there as well. And then we can build a bakery. There we go. That will increase our food supplies very nicely. We can also now build... Ooh, we can actually build a barracks somewhere too. No, I want to build a palace, right? That's what I want to build here. That's why I removed it. Where are we building the palace? Palace requires... 10 rope. Huh, also, everything requires bloody rope. Okay. Uh, okay. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, we've also got another expert who can be sent to different parts of our city. Hmm. I think harvest, because that will help us. Yes, that does get us back over the food supply issues. So we're not going to be negative on food anymore, which is good. We also have a brand new city, which of course we can... It's only a small one, but at the moment that's okay. So I can build an irrigated farm or a farm. We have to the farm can upgrade this later. Um, does it require that? Harvest options. Build a farm improvement. Okay, I will do just that then. Oh no, Settlers of Egypt are there too. Hmm. Don't like you, Settlers of Egypt. Why are you coming in this direction? I mean, I know why you're coming in this direction. Same reason I'm coming in this direction. But still. Okay, it's fine. Specialist available. We have another settler as well. And I would like to send it up to the north. Um, we've got some lovely water up here. We've also got a nice big looking region up here as well. In fact, I might go for this one. It's a little bit closer. Might go for this one. It's a little bit closer and has more resources around it. So that'd be good. Alright, it's the gathering halls, which now can be used for other things too. We've got plenty of feasts. We can build the code of laws, so why not build a couple of those? And we can also build a strategy codex, both of which sound interesting. We can build them with leather. We don't have any dyes. We don't have any paper. We can build a code of laws with timber, however. Materials. And we can use food, but I don't think it's a good idea. Let's just use wealth for now. There we go. Very nice. All right. <clears throat> we also have another event with our friendly neighborhood village, I assume. Oh no, city. Look to you for advice. They hope to build into the city's foundation a guiding principle, one that will chart its destiny. 
in this Aww. case literally Mason stand by awaiting your direction what words would you call let's go honor even though we're literally just like going to steal their territory hmm <clears throat> okay let's not kill any of the wild animals this territory because that will help slow them down a little bit supply and demand Now their supplies are nearly depleted. You know what? I'll feed your soldiers. I need a little bit more peace because it'll be a little bit of time before I can actually deal with uh, them properly. They are still sending settlers out, which is a little concerning, but uh, hopefully I'll be able to expand before that happens. In fact, to help with that, let's build ourselves. Um, there's another farm, but something like a barracks would be fun here. An altar could also work. Yeah, let's build an altar. More altars. Let's get um, let's get uh, Almec religion started. Everyone loves the Almecs, so. All right. You can title. You can keep on moving through. Okay. Agreement proposed. A trade agreement, sure. Can I build a road between you now? Like, because technically you think I'd be able to. Alright, let's see if I can build road management. So, first of all, I'd like a road to there. And that costs materials. Now, I'd also like a road to Wazjet. There we go. Now this is already roads going everywhere else around as well, so that's nice. I like that road section. That's fun. That's nice. Okay. So now I'm just building a road. Beautiful. Is that some more? It's like another cache. Oh yes. And there's gold up there. <gasps> there's gold in them there hills. Ooh. I still like this spot because it gets me closer to copper. But there's also gold there but only gold there. there's nothing else around there so yes let's build it here it's okay we can build our city right here this is a five right oh no this is not a five that's also not a five it's a two Brisbane is barely worthwhile so three hmm I think Bathurst is where we're building. There we go. Alright, keep moving up to this, to there. Alright, founding religion. <gasps> the Almex can begin! Found a religion. Custom religion. The Australian custom? No, 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 no. We're going to be very religion, religious here. B. The Almec religion. We photo a time in which owls will walk the earth with in mechanized in mechanized warfare. And then on, on that day, we shall rise. Also, I can put a bird as my uh, logo by the looks of it. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it's got to be the bird. There we go. One bird. Mine. And an improvement. I can get a temple. That's concrete, which we don't have yet. Gudava, which also requires con con, right? Okay. A mosque, a pagoda. They're all about equal by the looks of it. So I guess I just choose one I think looks nicest. Um I mean a temple's probably the most generic. Actually, the um, pagoda requires more. It requires candles. So there's a mosque. So, I think, yes, a temple is where it's at. All right. Very nice. The Almec religion is being founded. All praise the mighty Almecs. I should just get some... Uh... At the moment, we're fine. 
But I wouldn't mind building a road up to Bathurst either. So let's build a road <clears throat> up to Bathurst. Got plenty of materials, that's fine. It'll take multiple turns to get our road system working, but it seems like a much needed thing. And you can also build... Okay, I do like how it seems that these resources are a global pool. That helps. It makes it a little bit less confusing to actually build up, which is really important, I think, in this sort of game, when you've got this much of a crafting system. I was afraid it was going to be a little bit like that. But yes, I founded a custom religion, got myself a for it, which is good, an achievement. Religious verse available. Versus spent the spiritual dome for your nation. Okay. So the Almec has 30,000 followers. We can have Resolute um, Scripture, Swift Triumph, or Monument to Strength. That just gives us six, three materials per turn. Oh, that's great. Yes, please give me just free materials. And Monuments. Yes, we like to build. I like to build. Changing Governments. I don't want to be a theocracy. I'm good. I, I would rather still remain king. The owl that would be king. The Almec religion has officially been founded. Claim generator. Okay. I can now finally claim this territory with the T. Broken Hill. Very nice. Well, now I can actually get the T, which seems very important. Oh, I will be able to get next turn. Crafter idol. Yes, please make bread. Unlimited bread. You may use your grain to do so. And we don't have any salt, so I guess we need to log on to Reddit, but that'll be fine. We'll put some lithic tools in there. That's okay. We are losing a lot of food now we have two, two towns. But that's okay. We just need to ramp up food production just a little bit more. Mm. You know what? This might be a good place to pause. Not because I want to pause. I'm definitely going to keep playing. But because I feel like I'm definitely going to keep playing. Right? Um, it's been about two hours. And we have made through two of the ages that this game has to offer. We are currently in a bit of a food crisis, but that's okay. We're building up a nice little thing. We're still the highest in the world last I checked. We might as well check again to see. Make sure we're still the highest in the world. Yes, we are by 200 points. We haven't been doing a lot of wonders after all. Benito is still in the play. However, Ethiopia and Egypt are actually in the risk of being left behind by history. So we might even want to rush that if we want to push it out. We have three cities, no allies, no wars, and we, of course, have a Roman Jainism. Okay, interesting, interesting. Very fun. I'm enjoying this so far. Um, what do you think? Like, I honestly, the performance issues aside, doesn't really matter. It's a 4X game. I don't mind if it's running a little bit slowly. But I think this is a lot of fun, right? Um, hopefully, you guys agree with me. Uh, if you like it, be sure to uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and tell me how are you going to are you going to be playing R? Are you going to be waiting a little bit longer? As I uh, has my playing of it uh, made you like more likely to play it or what? Like I for one think this is probably one of the nicest. Like this is definitely one of the nicest games of its type we've seen in a very long time. Um, oh, I can build my palace. Very nice. There we go. And I'm looking forward to seeing where it goes. Um, currently, our city is definitely a little bit of trouble. We can, we can work that out. We can work that out. It's fine. It's fine. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time for another episode of Ara, because I am going to play more of this. And uh, yeah, goodbye.